Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Culver and I'm a product marketing manager here at PagerDuty. Today I'm going to walk you through PagerDuty AI Ops product tour. As you can see, Pagey will be our guide for today. Once you in enter the tour, you can go ahead and pick your component. We have four different product capabilities you can look into. First is automation and orchestration. Then there's noise reduction. Third, we have triage and root cause analysis. And fourth, visibility. You can do these in any order you choose. For this tour, I'm just going to go right from the bottom or right from the top to the bottom. At the beginning of the automation tour, you can see here that we describe what PagerDuty AI Ops automation does. It's a force multiplier across the entire technical ecosystem. There are two types of orchestrations that we'll cover, global and service-based, and each allows you to create in-depth automation with nested rules and flexible conditions. So first we're covering off on global event orchestrations, which is a new feature for the AI Ops SKU. Global event orchestration allows you to enrich and normalize your event data without configuring individual integrations and before it is routed to a service. We can go over here and take a look at our integrations and see the different integration keys that we can use to ensure that our events are being ingested from the monitoring tool and funneled to this global orchestration. Once we're on the global orchestration tab, we can create new rule. Here we can change our conditions, for example, if event severity matches warning, and then click next. We can also associate the rule with an action, for example, suspend alert for 300 seconds before triggering an incident. Then we'll click save. We can also create nested rules as well. This allows us to have more complex use cases and build on logic. Here we'll add a new condition, maybe for example, if event source exists. We can also add an action, for example, set as priority three. So now we've created a nested rule. We can click on service routes. The routing rules allow us to determine what action we want the orchestration to take based on set criteria. And we can add as many levels as we need, creating complex conditions. Once, and once those events are routed to the service, they reach our service orchestrations. Service orchestrations allow us, allows us to create rules and nested rules just like we did for global orchestrations, but on the service level. So we can create new rule here as well. And that's our event orchestration and automation tour. Let's go ahead and go back to options and take the next step. PagerDuty AI Ops Noise Reduction reduces incident noise at the click of a button. You can use built-in machine learning models or create your own logic. Let's apply alert grouping to a service. You can visit any service within your service directory and click Settings. Then you can go down to Reduce Noise and click Edit. Intelligent alert grouping uses machine learning to group based on either alert content similarity or past manual merges. You can set a flexible time window if you'd like to determine how long you'd like alerts grouped on the service and you can preview. Here you can see how many incidents could have been saved with intel intelligent alert grouping, as well as other intelligent alert grouping details. Content-based alert grouping groups when the content of specified alert fields match. Let's take a look. For instance, you can set alerts to group if the source contains, say, an integration name like Datadog. You can also combine fields and group if all or any of the fields match. For time-based alert grouping, you can select a period of time ranging from two minutes until the incident is resolved, even if that's more than 24 hours from the first alert. You can also auto-pause incident notifications, which leverages machine learning to identify alerts that typically auto-resolve on their own, and it pauses incident creation. You can choose to suspend transient alerts for a selected duration. 
Let's go back to options and we'll cover triage and RCA next. So incidents can be tough, even when you've eliminated the noise. PagerDuty AI Ops leverages machine learning to service the most important information from responders quickly. Let's go into an incident and see these features in action. Right when you click into an incident, you can see how frequently an incident like this occurs. It tells you if it's frequent, rare, or an anomaly. Past incidents allows you to see incidents that have previously occurred within PagerDuty that might be similar to this one. Click on a past incident to see all of the incident details. Alright, next is the Related Incident tabs. Related incidents immediately give you situational awareness by seeing other incidents currently happening within your ecosystem that might be related to the incident you're experiencing. We can click on one of the related incidents to see the incident details. This is the related incident that the responder can view and learn from for faster resolution. You can also see how recent changes affect your service. Change is often the root cause of an incident. Recent changes show you any recent action on the service to help you identify probable cause. Last but not least, let's take a look at visibility. AI Ops allows you to create custom dashboards that provide a comprehensive view of your operational posture across services. Additionally, you get full visibility into your event data. We can add some modules here for information about your ecosystem. We've got the status dashboard ready for you. Let's now add service activity. The service activity module allows, you to, allows users to see incident activity across their services all at once, so they can quickly understand their digital operations health and identify if there's a widespread major incident. We can now add incidents. The incidents module displays a real-time list based on filters selected of the most recent open incidents. Let's acknowledge an incident. Add a note to add some context to this incident. Next, we can click on Incidents and Changes Timeline. The Incidents and Ta Changes Timeline module displays a timeline of incidents and change events across all services. And that's it. That's our tour. If you'd like to try it yourself, you can always request a free 30-day trial or reach out to Sales for more information. Thanks so much.